Oh, check that out. Very first car and we found cash. Good, beautiful morning, everybody. Silas back again today on this fantastic day. And so I thought, you know what? There's not much wind out today. It's pretty nice out. It's a perfect opportunity for me to do a junkyard treasure hunt. I've got all of these cars here. Now, all of these cars are from the impound except for this red one and the gold one. I don't know if there's anything in the gold one or not. That's one my dad hauled in. And actually, I think my dad hauled this one in too. This one, I just looked through the window. I know the center console is full of money. So who knows what else is in this car? And then I don't know anything about the rest of these cars other than just glancing through the window. So we're just going to start right here and we're going to work our way down to the end. And then we'll come back up this row and we'll end at the gold car. I mention this every time, but I will not show absolutely everything I find and everything I dig through on camera. Just because this would be a three hour long video if I did that. A lot of times I'll just rip open the glove box, rip open the ashtray, rip open the center console, whatever. Look and see if there's nothing there. Then I just go on to the next thing and I don't turn the camera on until I actually find something. And also... No, I am not wearing gloves. It is very hard to do this type of work when you're wearing gloves. It's hard to fish pennies out, but I always, always, always look before I stick my hands in a place where I can't see exactly where I'm putting my hand. I don't just reach blindly because of the risk of needles. I have never actually found a needle laying loose in a car, but I would prefer to keep it that way. So yes, I am very careful, and just because you don't see it on camera doesn't mean it didn't happen. I always check stuff out before I start reaching. And also, I know a lot of times you guys don't see me open the trunks in these cars. Very rarely is there anything good in the trunks. I have found good stuff in the trunks before, and if I do find anything good in the trunks of these cars, I'll be sure to show you, but I'm not gonna show you a bunch of empty trunks. So if you don't see me opening the trunks on these, don't worry, I did open those and I did check those. That's enough talk, let's get into the action. First up on the list, we have a fancy, fancy Impala. Check that out. And then check this out. I noticed this when I got the thing. <laughs> Evidently they had a, a slight fire. I don't know whether it was the seat caught on fire or the door caught on fire, but either electronics in there or there. Now, I don't know. I guess it could have been the window motor. I don't know what electronics would have been down there. So I kind of wonder if it wasn't something in the seat caught on fire, which then caught the door on fire. I don't. I really don't know. Hard telling. I guess it doesn't matter. The car is going to get crushed anyway. But I can tell just by looking in this car that it is clear full of money. I mean, there's down here, there's a dime, a bunch of pennies, a quarter, some more pennies over there. Let's see what we got here. We got just on the seat, we've got a dime, a nickel, some pennies. This thing here is clear full of money. Can't even tell how much is in there. There's a bunch though, that's for sure. And then over there on that seat, I see a quarter. Down there on the floor, I see a quarter and a nickel, some pennies. And even in the back seat, I see some pennies and some more pennies laying on the seat. So, oh, there's more down here on the floor. So yeah, there's a bunch in this car. I don't know if there's anything in the center console or not. I've got a bunch of stuff to go through today, so I'm not gonna record picking up every penny. What I'll do is I'll just kind of go through here, gather up all the change, and then I'll count it and let you know how much I found in this car. If I find anything else cool though, I'll be sure to go ahead and record that. Well, unfortunately, all of this money here is one giant sticky clump. I can't get it out of there. Like, nothing will co cooperate. Now, if it was hot outside, it might come apart very stickily, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna try to find a pair of pliers and maybe pry it out of there. I won't be able to mix that change in with the good quality change because it'll make it all sticky. So that stuff there, what I'll have to do with that is take it and actually wash it. Then I can actually use it and count it and that sort of stuff. But so far we have $3.28 in this hat. That was my makeshift cup to put it everything in. A lot of it is stuck together like this. It's still in there. So that's why I can't put this in here because then when I take it to the change machine, it won't go through the change machine. It'll reject all this type of stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the back seat up now. I already dislodged that side. I'm gonna dislodge this side and I'll lift it up and see what's under there. Wow, shockingly, there's not that much money under here. I was really expecting there to be more. I think all I see is one little lonely dime. So that puts us up to, I found another nickel, so that puts us up to, let's see here, 343. I don't see anything else. I'll rip up this felt, but other than that, I think this back seat's done. Found a little socket, looks like a 3 16 and an extension here. There's no name junk, but you know, they're handy just to throw in a toolbox for when you need emergency tools. Let's see if there's anything out here. Oh, check that out. Very first car and we found cash. Nice. That is too cool, finding cash in the very first car. Looks like it's just a dollar bill, but I'll take it. Stuck to a bunch of other stuff. And there's everything I found under there. I found an ID card that I can't show because it'll have all this personal information on it. Then I found a dollar, a quarter, and a dime. So that's pretty good there. I think that puts us at $4.68 so far. So yeah, we're cranking up right close to $5 in this one single car. I found a little bit more change underneath the driver's seat, so we're up to $6.23 now total in this car. Not counting what's still in that center console that I can't get out yet. 
Uh, I can see through the back seat that there's something in the trunk. I can't tell what it is, so I'll wait a little bit and I'll get the loader out and rip that open. On to the next car. Looks like a Buick Saber, something like that. Ooh, what's this? PGA Tour Edition. I don't think I have that emblem. That's kind of a neat one. I'll have to pop those off of there. Pop open the door and I see money all over the place once again. This door grip is clear full of money, but as you can see, that is some very, very nasty money. And it looks like it's all just pennies. It looks like there might be one nickel that I'll fish out of there, but all those nasty pennies, I'm just gonna leave those in there. I'm not that desperate. You guys saw them on camera, you know they're there. I guess that's all that really matters. Well, I guess I might go ahead and fish them out of there. At first I thought they were nasty because somebody dumped something in there, but then I realized this window's down and it's probably been down for quite a while while this car was impounded. So that's just rainwater and snow and that sort of stuff landing in there and then the zinc and the pennies corroding. So it's actually not as bad as what I thought it was. So I guess I'll go ahead and fish them out of there. There we go, I just threw it all across the roof. I'll let the sun dry it out and then when it's dry, I'll gather it back up later. Wow, bunches of quarters, dimes, don't see any nickels, but a bunch of quarters, dimes, and pennies just right here on the driver's floor. With what I found down there, we're up to $8.25 now, not counting the, the gross change up on the roof. And then I looked down here on the floor, and guess what I saw? Check that out. That is insane. Tons of money. Just tons of money there. I don't know. I think this is going to be a pretty good day just in change. I found a lonely penny. Looks like a few tool pieces here in the center console. And a bunch of fingernails. Just what I always needed. They're brand new, never even been used. The package form is down on the floor. So I can wear those to work tomorrow. But for real, how do people do anything with those things on? I mean, how would you operate with those sticking out on the ends of your fingers and you don't want to knock them off because then you look silly with just four on your hand. I found $6.33 just down there on the floor. So that bumps us well over $10. I forgot what the first amount was. Now I got too much in my brain. Got too many phone calls in between. But we're well over $10 now. In addition to that, found this Rusty's cars car what's his name a uh, lightning queen that's a pretty stout car there so i'll take that home wash it give it to my son to play with let's check the glove box absolutely nothing let's check the back seat let's see if there's anything good in here looks like tons of trash i really don't want to dig through this so i'm gonna see if i can find a stick or something to dig through it so i don't have to use my hands looks like we got a USB C and a micro usb so yeah, i'll take those home see if they work i'm always needing chargers they're handy just to throw in every vehicle and every part of the house that way every time i need a charger i have one handy because i've got so many things that need charged now looks like a lonely penny here on the back seat oh and there's a looks like yeah a quarter over there in the corner so yeah 26 cents underneath the seat and i didn't have to rip it up not bad all right i found a back seat digger for when i don't want to dig through this stuff what is, is that a nail gun wow that's a big nail gun check that out Sinco. i don't know if that's a good one or not i've never had one like this before or never use one, I mean. Man, that's a monstrosity there. I don't know if that's worth anything or not. Obviously, I don't know if it's any good or not either. I looked it up, and you can't buy these new anymore. This is an older model, but the ones I found that were used and guaranteed good working condition were about $250. And I found some that were just like this, where they didn't know anything about them, just as is, where is, and they were about $100. So that's pretty cool. What I'll probably do with this, though, honestly, is I'll probably just take it out to the auction and let them sell it and it'll probably bring you know 15 20 bucks but i mean hey it's 15 20 bucks for free let's keep digging the problem is, is there's a bunch of like you can see there are milk duds and other candy that is melted to the carpet and then everything is stuck to that so man it is really stuck in here is that oil what is that 20w50 man what in the world do you use that in there's a phone case i wonder if the phone's in here I mean, it's not a phone, but we'll go ahead and save it just because it's the closest thing to a phone we've found so far. Junkyard treasure right there. I see something up in there, but I can't quite get it. Let's see. If I can... Oh, bolt cutters. Nice. I'm always using bolt cutters. These are brand new even. Still have the tag on them. I looked them up online and they sell these on Amazon. They're $22. So, not bad at all. Everybody always has to check these for cash. And I have never found cash in these. I keep checking them, but... People around here must not have ever heard of that idea or something. Nothing else good in that car. Let's go on to the next one. Now this one here was a rollover. Pretty rough. Don't know if we'll find anything in here or not. But we'll check it out. What's this? Oh, that's another one of those radio transmitters. Yeah, I can just stay in the car. We don't need that. Uh, not seeing much in this one. And it's clear full of little shards of glass. So I'm not going to get in here. I'll pop the center console clear full of receipts. Let's see if there's anything good. 
There we go. Garage door opener. I have people ask for these every now and then, and I never have them because everybody wants to keep them, but now I have one. Hey, the battery's still good. Now all I got to do is drive up and down the street and figure out whose garage it belongs to. I'm kidding. I would never do that. Let's see what else is in here. We've got, oh, there's the case for that FM modulator. What's this? Oh, cologne. Don't need that. Worlds of fun. And all their keys. What's this? Honor, courage, commitment. Established 1775. United States Navy. Huh, that's kind of a neat little keychain. That's pretty cool. We'll hang on to that. What do we got here? A piece of the car. There's a cord for that deal. And 50 million masks that nobody uses anymore. We got a quarter. We got some painter's tape. That's actually in good shape still. And it looks like quite a bit of money. What's this? Oh, there we go. Huh. Fort family. I've never seen one quite like that, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, we'll hang on to that. Found about 75 cents in there, so. I haven't found any old money so far, though. I think the oldest coin I found was a 65, so not that old. Nothing good in the trunk. On to the next car. Now listen here, I'm positive we're not gonna find anything. This in here got a little bit crispy. I don't know if this came from the wildfires we had out east of town. There was a bunch of cars got burned out there, over a hundred cars. I forget how many homes got burned. It was a bad deal, but we've been getting a lot of cars from there, but then I've been getting burnt cars from other places too. So I'm not sure where that came from, but nothing in there. So let's go on. What do we got here? Is this a Malibu, Impala, something like that? It's kind of close up against this car here. So I'm gonna have to go around to the passenger side. Let's see if there's anything good. Okay, this car absolutely positively reeks. It stinks, and I couldn't figure out why. This door pocket over here is clear full of dog biscuits. And who knows how long they've been cooking in here. So, I don't know if I'm going to take this car or not. But I think what I'll do is I'll open all the doors up, let it air out for a little bit, and I'll come back to it. We've got a Mercury or a Taurus, one of the two. It's a Mercury Sable. This is another rollover, so I'm sure it's a mess in here. Bunches of shards of glass. So we're not going to do a whole lot of digging in this one. And honestly, I really don't see any money on the floors. And if your car rolls over and doesn't dump money all over the floors, there's probably no money to be found. I found three lonely pennies in there, and that was it. On to the next one. This in here's been chopped up. I think they just practiced on this one, though. I don't think this was an actual wreck. I think it's just a practice for the fire department. So I'm sure it's clear full of water because we just got all that rain. But we'll see if there's anything good. Here's a cord that goes to nowhere. Disappears in the center console. Don't need that. A little bit. A dime, two dimes, and three pennies. There we go. And a Diet Coke. Looks like it's unopened. Other than that, I really don't see much in this car. Ah, uh, lunchtime must be over. Looks like I got a customer here, so I'm gonna go take care of that real quick. There we go, got that unloaded. It's still lunch hour, so I've got a little bit more time, so I'm gonna hurry up and get through these cars. Uh, like I said, that one there and one of these others, there's nothing in them anyway, so I don't think it'll take me too much longer to finish going through these. But I came back over to this car now. It's aired out a ton. Smells way better in here. So I'm gonna do a, just a quick go through of this one. We've got a pair of glasses laying on the seat. And we have this funky color thing. I have absolutely, positively no clue what that is. A charger, but it's got some weird end on it. I don't know what that's for. If you know what that's for, let me know in the comments. Center console is full of money. Tons of money. Looks like mostly pennies. It's kind of grody though, so I'm going to try to find a pair of pliers to fish it out of there with. I found $2.29. The only things of note that I found is somebody's earring. I think it's just a, a cheap earring. It's not anything good and a 1953 nickel so i finally found some old money like i've said in previous treasure hunt videos nickels were the same for a very long time there's very little difference between this nickel and a nickel from the 70s or 80s i mean it's just it's virtually identical so there's really no value there it's just a neat novelty that i found that in a car we're going to check out the center console see if there's anything good in here doesn't look like there's anything good looks like the only thing halfway decent is a screwdriver check the glove box Glove box is packed full. Oh, is that a phone? That is a phone. We are in business. Nice. Motorola. Broken, of course. Oh, and that last treasure hunt video I did, I never followed up with you guys about that. I took all the phones home, and one of them lights up, but won't turn on. That's broken. One of them won't do anything. The iPhone won't do anything. And then the other phone that was in decent condition actually turns on fine, but it's the screen is locked and there's uh, no emergency contact numbers. So I can't figure out who the owner of it was, unfortunately. But as always, I'll take this home, put it on the charger, see if it'll turn on. If I can get it back to the owner, I will. Otherwise, 
it'll go in my collection of junk treasure hunt finds. See what else we got here. See what type of music they like. They got some Johnny Cash, Creedence Clearwater Revival. They're both in there. Not sure what I'll do with those. I don't know anybody that listens to CDs anymore. <laughs> it's kind of antique technology. It's crazy. When I was a kid, that was like top of the line technology. Crazy how times change. It was kind of funny. Back in the day, when I was a kid anyway, like a plain Jane car just had an AM FM radio and or a cassette player sometimes. And then your nice cars had CD players and your really nice cars had CD changers in them. And your really, really nice cars had in-dash CD changers where you could load five or six CDs in them and you could cycle through them if you wanted. And nowadays, nice cars don't have any CD player or anything in them. It's just AM, FM with Bluetooth. Don't see anything else in there that's any good. That's pretty cool. We found a phone. Our first phone of the day. I hopped in the back seat and it's mostly trash, but I did find this. Brand new Reese. Two inch ball. I don't use these when I pull my big trailer, but these are always really handy to have for when I'm pulling one of my small trailers. I would never consider using something light duty like this to pull my heavy trailer with heavy loads. That's just too dangerous. But for just my little light duty utility trailers or my pickup bed trailers, this would be perfect. This is brand new. These things have gotten so expensive. I used to not even save these because you could buy them brand new. You could buy a brand new ball for like six dollars and you could buy the whole kit for like twenty two dollars. But the other day I went out and looked and a kit like this is like 50, 60 bucks. It's unreal. So yeah, we'll definitely hang on to that. So if you got anything else good in here, it really doesn't look like it. Looks like my time is running out. And that's all she wrote. Found a lighter, doesn't work though. And the rest of this is just trash, it looks like. Nothing else good in here. I'll pop the seat up, but I doubt there's anything good under it. There hasn't been a whole lot of money other than in the cup holder of this car. Found a few things under there. Found a dime, a penny, and then whatever these little thingamajiggers are. I don't really know what those are, but I guess they'll look cool in a jar if nothing else. And let's check out this Buick here. Door is locked. Door is locked. I guess we'll go around to the driver's side. Looks like the window's gone. And there we go. Found a pair of pliers. That'll work perfect for getting all that sticky money out of that first car. Let's check the center console. Looks like we got a dime. If I can get out of there. Come on now. There we go and a tire gauge. So, found a little bit in this one. That looks like there's a dime and a couple pennies and a nickel back here on the floor in the back seat. So, I'll hop in here and grab those out. Between what was on the floor and what was underneath the seat, I found about 75 cents. And I also found this pair of cheap jumper cables. These aren't anything good, but you know, somebody might want them. Worst case scenario, these things are over a dollar a pound now for scrap. Throw them up there. And then we're going to go through this blue car. Door is locked. Door is unlocked. Oh wow, check that out. Tons of money all over the floor again. Found a little over $2 in that car, but I didn't find anything else. But we're getting quite a bit of change out now of these cars. Okay, on to the Avalon. Now this one here, I believe there's something in here that's pretty cool, but I can't show it on camera. I mean, I can, but I have to cover up the numbers. That's crazy. They're gone. Somebody dug through this car. Well, that's not good. When I first got this car, there were three uh, credit cards. Well, there's two credit cards and one debit card laying here on the seat, and they were all still active. And I looked at them, and I just laid them back down on the seat. I never grabbed them. And evidently, somebody else saw them and like, oh boy, free money. So they took off with them. I don't know who's been in here. I mean, they left all the money laid on the floors. I don't know who would have done it. It must have been a customer that brought a load of junk in, came over here and looked through these cars and saw those and grabbed them and took off. I don't know. That's crazy. I'll have to check the cameras. But other than that, all I found in this car was looks like 14 cents. I went through and checked the cameras and <laughs> I was mistaken. It was this vehicle. After going through the cameras, I realized that nobody had messed with these cars since the day I looked at them. And I thought, well, then what in the world's going on here? So I thought I'll go through them one more time. And then I remembered I didn't actually look through this van. That guy came in with that car just as I was getting ready to start on this van. So I skipped it and went on to the next car. So now we're going to go back and do this one. Now, obviously, I can't show you all the cards because you have the numbers on the Internet. That would just not be good. I'm going to destroy these cards as soon as I get done with this video. That way, nobody can steal them and nobody can steal their money. But I just thought it was crazy to find three cards just laying here in a pile of papers. There's a few other cool things like here's a Transformers mask. I don't know what else is in here. I never really looked through it. I just saw those laid on the seat the day we got them. I thought, boy, that's unusual. Some batteries, a bunch of rocks. That's kind of unusual. What's in this? Oh my, that's heavy. What's in here? Clear full of rocks. 
somebody was a rock collector. They must have had, I bet you they had kids. That's why they've got the mask in here. I mean, it is a minivan. So yeah, they probably had kids that collected rocks. When I was a kid, I collected rocks everywhere I went. I'd load my pockets full. Let's see if there's any really cool ones in there. What's this shiny one? Oh, that's not even a real rock. That's just a bead. The rest of these don't look like anything, anything fancy or special. That one's kind of neat. It's kind of shiny. I'll hang on to that one. There's another one. And it's kind of look like some sort of quartz crystal. They're really tore up from being in a bag with a bunch of other rocks, but still kind of neat. I just mainly wanted something that I could put in a jar. That's all that was in that one. I've got like five minutes left of my lunch hour, so I'm going to hurry up and go through this last car. Then maybe I'll pop one trunk open on a car, and uh, the rest of these I'll have to worry about later. Last but not least, we have a Chrysler Pacifica, and maybe it is leased. I don't know. We'll see. I don't remember why I put this one over here. There, My ear may not be anything good in this one. So far, so bad. Don't see anything good. Got some rosary beads hanging from the dash. Pop open the center console. We've got public safety. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's just a little canister to keep band-aids and stuff like that in, so nothing good. I found a little bit of money up here in the cup holders. A few pennies and a nickel. About 10 cents it looks like. These were fancy cars when they came out, but man, they are just absolute garbage now. These old Pacificas. Uh, lighter. Let's see if it works. That one works. I don't save lighters. I don't have a use for them, but anytime I find a lighter that works, I always get it out of the car because I'm always nervous about kids starting fires. There's nobody here yet, so I just went ahead and took the opportunity to rip open the trunk on this car because I knew I could see something in here, and that's what I saw. It was these right here. A couple pool sticks. I don't know if they're any good. They don't look the greatest. But just kind of unusual. I don't think I've ever found those in a car before. That's definitely a first. Let's see what else is in here. We've got a mask. Hey, that goes good with the fingernails. There we go. What do you guys think? Does it suit me? <laughs> Man, that's pretty freaky. I don't think I've ever worn something like that. I don't know why. What's the point behind those? I mean, I mean, I guess for costume parties maybe, but other than that, I guess I don't see the point. Some people are just extra. That's okay. What else we got in here? We got a set of jumper cables. These are a little bit heavier duty than the last pair. I'll hang on to this pair and keep these for myself. These are long ones too. Man, look at that. Those are crazy. That's pretty cool. And looks like one more thing up here. We got a collapsible four-way lug wrench. There we go. Yeah, those are always handy. I mean, they're not real strong. You don't want to put too much torque on those because they'll just snap off, but you know, if, you have, if you're limited on space and you just have a car or something like that, then they're okay, they're handy. I haven't used a four-way and I couldn't tell you how long. I use an impact to everything I do out here at the yard. And then for our, my personal vehicles that my wife and I drive, those we have roadside assistance on because it's only a few extra bucks a month to add that to our insurance. And when I do have to change my own tire for something that doesn't have that, like my old work truck doesn't have that roadside assistance, I've usually got the impact with me, so I just zip the lug nuts off. As far as tightening back down, I mean, you know how it works. You just put three Ugga Duggas on it and you're good to go. And last find of this car is a license plate. I do sell license plates. I haven't lately just because I just have not had time to sell anything hardly. I have been so busy with crushing cars while prices are up that I'm just way behind on all the stuff I used to sell. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go through all the stuff I found now, but first, if you enjoy this type of video, please give me a thumbs up on this. Let me know you like it. I really enjoy making these videos. You know, sometimes I find really, really cool stuff. Sometimes I find kind of mediocre stuff like today, and other times I really don't find anything cool, but it's just a lot of fun to make these, and they're not super hard to make. They're not super time consuming to edit. I just really enjoy these. Unfortunately, I am kind of at the mercy of whatever comes in. If I don't get cars like this that have stuff in them, if all I'm getting is stuff that people have already gone through, then I can't make these videos, but it just so happened that I got all these cars in at once, so I was able to do this. Thank you guys for watching my videos. Now let's go through all the stuff. Don't really know where to start, so I guess I'll just start right here. We've got two sets of jumper cables. We've got one cheap set that I'll get rid of, one good set that I'll keep. We've got the tools here. I'll keep the bolt cutters. The nail gun I'll probably just go ahead and sell. We've got the pool sticks. I don't know what those are actually called, but they're just kind of an unusual find. Never found those before. I've got the masks, the garage door opener, all the power cords. We've got the keys and the cool keychain. We've got the painter's tape. We've got some more tools here. We've got the hourglass. We've got a, whatever those little tokens are there. We've got the trailer hitch, some CDs, glasses, a lighter, license plate, some more tools, some rocks, and some sort of charger plug-in. And then the absolute best finds of the day, obviously all this money, 
Altogether, we found over $20 worth of money, and that's not counting all the sticky money that I threw all over the ground. I just used a pair of pliers to pry it out of there and just threw it all over in the middle of the road. I'll drive over it, pick it up again someday. And then we found $1, and then we found the 53 nickel. Oh, we found the earring. I forgot about that. Whatever this doohickey is. Tons of money here. This is all money that I can take to the bank, and they will give me cash for it. And then, of course, we found the phone case. And probably my favorite find of the day, of course, is this phone. I don't find phones that often, so it was really cool to find that. We'll take that home, turn it on, see if there's an SD card in it, but more than likely, it's just junk. And that's all for this one, guys. I'm going to head out and get to work. Lunch hour is about 20 minutes over, but that's okay. I put in way more than extra 20 minutes on Monday. I worked about 10 hours on Monday, so my dad got two hours for free out of me that day, so he can give me 20 minutes back today. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, that like button. Please keep checking back. You just never know what I'm going to post next. I like to do all sorts of different things. I just like to have fun. That's what this channel is all about, is finding adventure in whatever I'm doing that day. And I want to encourage you guys to find adventure in whatever you're doing that day. As always, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. And remember to get out there and find an adventure. We'll see you next time.